U.S. President Joe Biden returns to the world stage after the midterm elections. Biden is set to attend the COP27 climate summit in Egypt, an ASEAN regional summit in Cambodia, and the gathering of the G20 major economic powers in Indonesia next week. Biden still faces turmoil if Republicans are confirmed to have narrowly won the House of Representatives. But he argues that the U.S. allies can now relax after a mostly smooth election and the surprisingly strong democratic results. At the G20, Biden will rub shoulders with key European and Asian allies. Biden is also set to meet China's President Xi Jinping, where the U.S. president wants both leaders to lay out what their red lines are and resolve areas of conflict, including issues such as the self-governed island of Taiwan. When it comes to relations with Russia, Biden says the Kremlin will even seem to have been waiting for the outcome of the election before announcing its retreat from the city of Kashan. I'm going to be going to the G20. I'm told that President Putin is not likely to be there, but other world leaders are going to be there in Indonesia. And we're going to have an opportunity to see uh, what, uh, what the next steps may be. Analysts predict at COP27, Biden will flag the successful package through Congress this year of one of the biggest U.S. spending packages to address climate change, the so-called Inflation Reduction Act. It includes almost $370 billion for things such as clean energy. In Asia, Biden will tout a resilient U.S. economy, which despite high inflation, continues to see low unemployment and a resurgence in manufacturing. However, none of this will eliminate the lingering questions in the minds of U.S. Democratic allies over the durability of Biden's vision. Well, for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tarani is joining us live from New York City. Susan, the president preparing now to head overseas later on today. Uh, what can we expect from Biden as he prepares to meet world leaders over the next few days? Well, the president really laid out an agenda during uh, that speech and a, a press conference uh, with reporters yesterday. Uh, he really it was asked about whether or not, you know, he will, um, you know, uh, hammer it on, as you mentioned, America's agenda on uh, the uh, uh, Energy Reduction Act, you know, that a lot of that was regarding uh, climate change. Uh, he, you know, the United States hopes to be really on the forefront and a world leader when it comes to climate action. Now, to what extent this rhetoric can turn into reality is yet to be seen. But I think the president uh, hopes to not only after, you know, not seeing that huge defeat uh, that was expected uh, in the midterms, uh, he hopes to once again re-engage with world leaders, uh, hopes to bring them on board. And... Um, you know, say that America is really still, you know, at the forefront and committed to uh, its its global agenda. And you mentioned that global agenda there, but how much do you think the midterm election results, the ones that are still coming in, will reassure allies around the world about Biden's world vision? Yeah, that's the million dollar question, considering the fact that these midterms were really nail biters and uh, we really didn't see a sweeping uh, victory, for a lack of a better word, from uh, either side. You know, on the one hand, we have to see what happens with the House ultimately uh, and to an extent with the Senate. But Biden's remaining legislative agenda really hangs in the balance and if he ends up becoming a lame duck president uh, then uh, you know whether or not the republicans decide to work with him on a lot of the issues domestically uh, that might be a greater challenge than a lot of his agenda uh, on the international front at least when it comes to the issue of ukraine uh, dealing with Russia. I think the Republicans and Democrats are on the same page. Uh, however, when it comes to, you know, a huge spending on climate issues, that's where the Republicans really um, might not have that kind of appetite. And I think America's international partners know that. Uh, so I think that'll be interesting to watch.